Luke chapter 21 verse 12. The word of God says, But before all this, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. But he said, It shall turn to you for a testimony. They would want to do you evil. But Jesus said it would turn to you for a testimony. They would persecute you. But he said it would turn to you for a testimony. They will plan all of their evil intentions. Everything that their hatred against you had conceived. But he said it would turn to you for a testimony. Dear child of God, God knows every single one who have been against you. God knows the people who have been plotting your downfall. God knows everyone that wants to destroy your destiny. He knows everyone that wants to destroy everything that you have been building. He knows those people that have been masterminding your downfall. But he said, it will turn to you for a testimony. Everything they are doing against you. He said it will be for your good at the end of the day. That was what he was saying. He said it will be for your favor. Yes, they planned evil. They wanted to destroy you. They are doing everything to bring you down. But he said at the end of the day, dear child of God, you will testify. You will be the one rejoicing. You will be the one dancing. You will be the one laughing. I want you to know today, dear child of God, that all things work together for good. Yes, for those that love God. For those that have been called to his perfect will. The things the enemies thought they were doing against you. I want you to know that it would be turning for your good. He said, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. Jesus was saying this to encourage you. That it will come to a point in time in your life. That people may rise up against you. People may persecute you. People may deliver you into prisons yes they may send you to the place of destruction but he said do not worry do not take to heart what they are doing against you because at the end of the day you will be the one testifying because i know what i'm working god knows all the things that he is doing he knows all the things that he wants to achieve he knows all the things he wants to bring out of your life and he would stop at nothing until he does it he would stop at nothing until he makes sure that you are testifying. Dear child of God, the brothers of Joseph thought that they were doing him evil. They sold him into slavery. They brought pains upon his life. They brought him to the place of slavery. Dear child of God, they brought him to the place of pain. Through the process, he was thrown into prison. They wanted him to suffer. But he would say at the end of the day, you meant it for evil. Yes, you plan to do evil against me by all the things that you have done. But God thought it for good. God had something he had planned out of the evil things that you have been doing. God had something he was working out from the evil things that you had plotted. And then he said, it has done for the good of all. Dear child of God, Joseph had testimonies. From then on, he had reasons to rejoice. It indeed turned to his testimony. I want you to know today that those people fighting against you at, a, at your place of work, those people fighting against you in your establishment, those people saying that you would not progress in life, those people that have said over their dead bodies, would you make successes in life? I want you to know that everything they are planning Every single thing they intend to do would turn to your testimony. You would see what God has done and you would have reasons to rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus. The scriptures is reminding you that everything is working together for your good. At the time that they saw what happened with Jesus, at the time they saw the elevation that Jesus received, at the time they saw the blessings that came from the persecution, all of the princes said to themselves, Had we known, we wouldn't have crucified him. They thought they were doing evil against Jesus. But they gave Jesus the opportunity to be lifted. The scripture says he was lifted far above every principalities, every rulers of darkness, every power, every prince of the air, 
everyone that stood against him. God gave Jesus a seat that is way above them all. Dear child of God, I want you to know that they may think they are trying to bring you down, but they are setting the pace for your blessing. They are bringing you to the place of recognition. They are bringing you to the place of your blessing. They are leading you to the place that God has assigned for you to receive your favor. And in all the evil intentions that they had against you, you will see the blessings of God come out of it. A man was always upset seeing Mordecai and he had planned to destroy him. And on going to the king, he never knew that he was going to be the one speaking about the things that would be done for Mordecai. He had wonderful suggestions. He had great things that he wanted. He had wonderful suggestions that he thought was going to be for him. And then the king said, do all of these things to Mordecai, to the one that you hate. Dear child of God, this is how God would work it out. There was no way Mordecai would have suggested those things. There was no way Mordecai would have brought these wonderful suggestions to the king. He never had the opportunity. He never had that audience. But the one who had gone to the king with the evil intentions in his heart to destroy him, he had planted the gallow, ended up being the one announcing the favor that God had said to do in the life of Mordecai. He would go about saying, this is what will be done to the one who the king delights to honor. And it was the one that hated him. It was the one that had planned evil against him. It was the one that wanted to destroy Mordecai. He was the very one that said every of these good things that the king decided to do to the one he wanted to honor. I want you to know today, dear child of God, that they may be persecuting you. They may have brought pains upon your life. They may be afflicting you today. But you should remember that God knows what he is working out of it. And by the time he is done, you would be able to say, it has turned for my testimony. It has turned into my testimony. It has turned to my favor. It has turned to the reason I am rejoicing today. This has announced me and I'm celebrating the goodness of God. So what you would ask God today is help me. Is help me and see me through, Lord. You know all the people that are against me. You know the people fighting my destiny. You know the people that wanted me destroyed. But you made me to know that no weapons formed against me will prosper, O Lord. I believe your word. I believe your plans would not come to pass. You made me to know that if you are with me, no one would ever succeed being against me. I believe your word, O Lord. And I want to see this word come to pass. Say these things to God and you will see them come to pass. Everything would be working together for your good. Everything would be working together for your favor. And in the place they thought they were going to discredit you, that is a place God is going to elevate you. And they would make sure he is lifting you above every single one that wanted to bring you down. Just tell God today, watch over me, watch over my family. See me through and preserve me. You know where you are taking me to. Please lead me through until I get there. Do not allow the wishes and the plans of the enemies to come to pass against my life. Do not allow them gloat over me. Do not allow them rejoice over me. Do not allow them mock me. Do not allow them to laugh at me. And God will make sure that at the end of the day, you would be having the last laugh. At the end of the day, everyone that thought they were laughing at you, they will come laughing with you because their laughter, their mockings, yes, all of their mockeries and ridicules will be turned to amazement. They will be shocked. They will be shocked seeing what God has done for you. They would know that God has visited you and blessed you so greatly and blessed you above them. The brothers of Joseph, they were all amazed seeing what God did. And God made sure that he turned to his testimony. It would turn into your testimony. All that they planned to do to see that you would mourn, so that you would lament and you would cry. Dear child of God, you will see that it will turn to your testimony and you would have reasons to rejoice. You would have reasons to celebrate the King of glory. You would have reasons to exalt the Lord Most High. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
Dear child of God, stick with God. He will preserve you. He would not allow the plans of the enemies to come to pass. He would not allow them to succeed against you and against your family. He would not give their wishes approval. Yes, dear child of God, I want you to know that their wishes against you will not come to pass. You will discover that God has been with you. God has strengthened you and made sure you receive the blessings that they will deny you from receiving in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May God bless you and may God do you well. In Jesus' name, amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.